everybody we are doing a quick little bicep workout live <clears throat> so i haven't done i've never done a live actual workout lately i've been doing stretching but today we're gonna hit some biceps with the barbell curl now normally i recommend using one of the shorter barbells that are set weights but there's none in this training room, so we are going to make do with this long barbell. <clears throat> and so this is 45 pounds just to warm up, get the blood flowing. And I haven't done too much barbell curl in a while, but is, that is what I started with when I first started working out. That's what I came up doing. And I definitely recommend it for anyone. Cable curls are also a great variation to do as well. And we got no one in the live yet. That's awesome. <laughs> but anyways, I think I'm going to keep this live uh, for, for you all to watch later. So let me know what you think of it. And we're going to get some bicep gains. Keep in mind the split in my peak shape. That is genetics. A lot of that is genetics. But you got to build your bicep to the best of your genetic abilities. And uh, if you build them to your, your potential, you will be happy with what you've achieved. All right, so now we're going to do a little side view. Hopefully, I got enough room here. So I'll just get some curls in like this, a little more of a warm up. You want it slow and controlled, squeeze at the top. You don't want your elbows moving at all, so none of this. That'll put stress on your shoulders. That'll take the work off of the bicep and onto the shoulder. We don't want that. So just controlled all the way up, control down. No elbows moving, no elbows back. That's cheating, that's gonna take tension off the bicep. Elbows locked into your sides, all the way up and down and up and down all right now we're gonna add a little bit of weight onto this <sighs> see how that feels and we'll do some of the different variations as well so if you're doing if you're doing a closed grip bicep curl that is going to target the outer head the long head of the bicep, which is this part right here, makes up the peak shape, the long head. And then if you do a wide grip with the barbell, that is going to target the inner head, the short head of the bicep, which is more responsible for, for the width of the bicep. This is more responsible for the length. So that's just some bicep tips while we talk about the bicep tip. All right, so also, you guys got any questions or anything, let's get some talking in the chat. Any questions about anything, even if it's about the Mons Wave or anything in general? That's what I'm here for. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of weight onto her. Just 10 pounds each, make it 65. And we'll see how that feels. So we're gonna do one set, just normal shoulder shoulder length grip, and see how that feels. All right, so I guess we'll do them like this. Does this look good? I'll do it facing you guys. So we got our hands shoulder length. All the way up. We can even talk while doing it. Can I get down to 12% body fat at 80 kg? 5'7. Yes, you can definitely, you can get down to that percent body fat at any height. It's got to be in a calorie deficit. All right, now I'm not sure how many that was, but it was pretty close to failure. So we'll take it. 
we'll take it. But yeah, you can check out my uh, my shredding tutorial for beginners, how to get shredded for beginners. I have a longer video. Check out check out that video. It's not the YouTube Shorts. It is the it is my longer form content, and that'll help you with calorie deficit, figuring out where your calories should be, and uh, and how you should figure out your diet, stuff like that. So go check that video out. All right, next up, we just did shoulder length. So that's kind of hit both heads of the tricep kind of equally, long head and short head. And now we are going to do close grip, which is going to target the outer head, the long head. So we're going to focus on that's what's responsible for the peak shape. So like I said before, your shape is going to be genetic, but you can bias each head a little bit. And you know, it's not gonna make a crazy difference to be honest, as long as you're hitting curls hard, then your biceps are gonna grow. 99.9% .9 of people don't need to really focus on biasing either head, but it's nice to know, especially for you guys that are really into anatomy and being optimal, then there you go. All right, so we're gonna do clo more close grip right now. We need a close grip set. I'm not going to go too close because it's a little tricky, but we're going to keep it relatively close. <clears throat> Controlled <clears throat> and hit that long head of the bicep. <clears throat> like I said, you can't isolate, so it's still hitting both heads of the bicep, <clears throat> but it's biasing <clears throat> the long head more. <clears throat> All right. And we'll, we'll count that. I'm not going to absolute failure. I'm getting, I'm, I'm just about hitting failure. But I'm definitely feeling it. Got a good bicep pump going on. And yeah, like I said, any of you guys in the chat. Also, let's get some likes in the chat. If you're watching this live, let's get a couple likes. Let's boost it a little bit. Was that your working set? Yeah, that was a working set. I got pretty close to failure there, and uh, I was going, I was going pretty, pretty intensely controlling it. I'm not trying to move around crazy weight, like Kai Green says. The difference between a weightlifter and a bodybuilder: a weightlifter tries to move weight from point A to point B. A bodybuilder is focused on contracting his muscles and really feeling his muscles working. So you got to pick which one you really care about, building your body or just moving around weight. But yeah, that was that was a working set. And yeah, I'm not trying to, this is my first bicep exercise of the day, so I'm not trying to completely destroy them. But but it's a pretty it's a pretty decent weight. And I haven't done barbell curls in a while. I normally do cable curls because my shoulders have been kind of bothering me. So free weight's a little more tricky if you have an injury. But this is what, 65 pounds. It's not crazy heavy, but it's not super light either. And the thing is with the long barbell, that makes it trickier too. Because you have to balance it, the weights are sliding. So I'm not gonna try to go too crazy with with a long barbell. If it was a shorter one, it would be much easier to manage. <clears throat> but that's how it is. All right, and then last set, we are doing wide grip, which is going to, like I said, hit the short head of the bicep, responsible for the width of the bicep. So that's what we're gonna do, wide grip. All right, <sighs> wide grip, wide grip. Now you don't wanna go crazy wide, cause that's just gonna, be awkward and mess with your your wrists or your shoulder, but we're gonna go decently wide. Decent. I don't know if there's any Trailer Park Boys fans in here. Decent. So we're going pretty. We're going relatively wide. Controlling it. <clears throat> Up. Down. One. <sighs> Two. You know, let's get the let's get the muscle showing. <sighs> Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. See, I want to shrug it. I want to 
<clears throat> See, that's much easier. I could do tons of them like that, but controlling it, you got to control it if you really want to work the muscle. <sighs> Where are we at? Eight, something like that. <clears throat> Nine, <sighs> 10, 11, 12. <sighs> All right, 12. You can kind of see the weight was sliding a little bit, which makes it a little more tricky. I could have pumped out a few more, but like I said, I'm not trying to go to crazy failure. That was pretty close to failure, though. You don't need to go to five reps shy. Uh, not five reps shy of clean form. If I was trying to do controlled clean form without any wiggling, maybe two or three if I'm trying to destroy destroy them but that was a pretty good that was a pretty good set for this yeah I probably could have gotten five reps if I, if I did a little bit of swinging moving the elbows but for my first exercise I'm not trying to completely destroy it just get it get it working get the blood flow and considering, like I said, I don't do, I haven't done like barbell curls in a while. So it definitely hits different. I've heard going all the way to failure on isolation is better. So whether it's isolation or not, <clears throat> you, want, you want to always be going close to failure. The new studies show going to failure all the time is not necessary or can even like affect your muscle recovery. But you want to go you want to go to failure at least a couple sets every workout like absolute failure most people don't even get to true failure to be honest like like they'll feel it burning it'll hurt <clears throat> and they stop but they're not going to absolute muscle failure they're not pushing themselves that hard that's for 90 90 percent 95 percent of people are never really going to true failure But, <clears throat> like I said, as long as you're getting close, the new research states that just getting close to failure is going to be enough to, for optimal hypertrophy. And like I also said, I haven't done barbell curls in a while. Free weights is a little bit trickier on your joints and stuff, and I normally do machine or cable. So I'm not, I'm not trying to push this for, for live. This is more of a demonstration. But I was going pretty I usually go failure, like I end up partials after doing failure. No, so I think I think you know going past failure, doing forced reps and partials definitely has its place. <clears throat> um, but you you don't want to do it every single set. Like ideally save that for for the last set of your exercise because you don't want it to affect your next lift. You know what I'm saying? The main thing is getting in those good solid sets. So you want those good sets and then you can go really hard. Ideally save your really crazy, your really crazy, you know, intensity and burnout stuff for the end of your workout. Uh, but yeah, I mean, of course it's fun for some people, at least it's fun to go to failure. I could, I should do a video on just like failure. That would be a pretty decent YouTube video, I think. It's a good idea. And, and yeah, that's, those are the only like good free weights in here. The dumbbells are too light to do a real workout. So we got some barbell curls in and I'm gonna be coming out with an arm focused full length YouTube video as well. But I wanted to go live, talk to you guys a little bit and uh, just talk about the different variations of barbell curl you can do. Also, you can do reverse curl as well. I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> but basically, you, instead of grabbing it like this, you grab it like this. And so that's still gonna work your bicep, but also your forearms as well. <clears throat> What's up, Louie? I recognize you, how you doing, man? Just finished up my uh, bicep workout. So if you wanna check that out, it's gonna be uploaded soon. So let me know what you guys think, what you want to see more of, and I have some videos coming in soon. I got like a, a lat control video coming up, an arm day video, 
and hopefully more vlogs as well. I'm going to have someone film me while I work out so I don't have to film myself. But I think that is it for now. So just want to say much love to all of you guys. If you appreciate me in any way, go check out one of my other videos and watch it all the way through. I'd appreciate that. Much love to all you guys. And as